gave us just such an electrifying performance. All this kid ever wanted was a chance on the biggest stage in boxing. He got it tonight and he made the most of it. I couldn't be prouder of him. He deserves all the good things that are gonna happen. You guys don't wanna hear from me, so let me bring up the WBA 154 pound world champion, super middleweight champion of the world, excuse super welterweight champion of the world, Austin No Doubt Trout. Thank you, thank you all. I gotta thank God again, you know, for the opportunity. All I wanted was a chance, that's all I asked for. And he delivered, and also delivered me through it. You know, I already had the victory through Jesus Christ, but he also gave me the victory in the ring, so I gotta thank him for it all. I gotta thank Greg Cohen, my promoter. I wanna thank Al Heyman for taking my career to the next level, making this fight happen. And just for the team I have, my coach Louie, my cornerman Shakri Shabazz, Moose Gomez, Bobby Benton, the chemistry we have is just a perfect team. And, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. We can go as far and as high as we want to with this, this team I have. Of course, I can't remember, can't forget my longtime manager, Bob Spagnola, who uh, is behind the scenes, working, worrying, making sure everything is right for Austin Trout. He treats me like the star that I, I know I can be. So I just want to thank the team. I got to thank my family that came out. You know, they make as much sacrifice as I do, believe it or not. They're not in there running with me, but when daddy's not home, the kids suffer. My fiance has to pick up the slack. My mother has to keep the the craziness together. You know, she's the matriarch of our family. Uh, so, you know, I'm just getting my thank yous out the way. I'm, I'm very happy with this victory. You know, God put it, pushed me through it. It was a good fight. Koto is a great champion. He's strong. You know, he's not, he doesn't miss a step. He comes on, he comes back, he comes fast. And uh, for me to be able to beat a, a fighter like Miguel Cotto is just an honor in itself. You know, just to be able to fight a fighter like Miguel Cotto was an honor. To beat him is an even greater honor. So I thank him for the opportunity to, to be able to fight him, you know, in this, the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden. And to be here, you know, to have my own page of history in this building is, is, is just crazy. I'm, I'm numb right now, to be honest. I, I, can, I don't feel anything. It's going to hit me probably tomorrow or maybe three days from now, who knows? Yeah. 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 I, I got everything out the way. I mean, any questions? 